Hello, Orchard Eagles. My name is Caitlin Mitchell, and I am the creator of the Rutabaga Education Curriculum, and I feel so honored to be a part of your Friday Sing Show. So, I have heard that you guys have been learning about the majestic, the miraculous, the marvelous monarch butterfly, and I wanted to share some information about them today. So, first of all, the migration of a monarch butterfly is pretty cool. In the spring and the summer, monarchs will migrate up to 3,000 miles, and then in the fall and the winter when temperatures start to get cooler, they'll migrate again south. And the coolest thing about that is that it actually takes multiple generations for the monarch to complete that migration, but yet each generation instinctively knows what to do. So that's pretty cool. But what I do want to talk to you also about is a special relationship a monarch butterfly has with the milkweed plant. We have milkweed outside, but it's so hot, I'm filming this inside, so I cut off a branch. So this is milkweed, and monarch butterflies will feed on a variety of different flowers, but milkweed is the only plant where a monarch butterfly will lay its eggs. So just a fun fact, a monarch butterfly will lay hundreds of eggs, but they will only lay one egg on each milkweed plant, and that's just to make sure that there is enough food when the egg hatches and the caterpillar comes out pretty hungry and needs enough food to eat. So butterflies have a really cool adaptation, and this adaptation is that they have taste sensors in their legs. So what a monarch butterfly will do when it's ready to lay its eggs, it'll fly through the sky, it'll spot some really bright, fragrant flowers, and it'll land on the plant, and the monarch's gonna taste with its legs. If it's milkweed, then that monarch butterfly will lay an egg on the underside of the leaf. If it isn't milkweed, then it'll fly off and it'll continue to look for it somewhere else. So over the years, there has actually been a decline in the number of monarch butterflies, and so much so that they are now endangered. And endangered just means that they are in danger of becoming extinct. And the reason for this is because there is not as much milkweed out there for them to lay their eggs and for their caterpillars to feed upon. And that's because years ago, there used to be acres and acres of open fields of wild milkweed, but now, because of um, farmland being cultivated and land being developed for homes and businesses, there isn't as much milkweed out there. So since there isn't as much milkweed, there aren't as much opportunities for a monarch butterfly to lay their eggs and for the caterpillars to eat. So there's actually a lot of organizations that are out there that are working hard to protect the monarch butterfly and um, planting more milkweed. So you can look them up online, but they really want to help the monarch butterfly thrive in North America. So look them up. Some of them even offer free milkweed plants that you can plant at your home or at your school. So thank you for letting me share a little bit about the monarch butterfly, and hopefully you feel a little inspired to um, learn more and see how you can help. So thank you again for having me. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and remember to be kind to one another. Bye, guys.